Welcome to Swayze Field here in Oxford, Mississippi, and this marquee midweek matchup between the Memphis Tigers and the team that is not only turning some heads around the SEC, but around the country as well, the eighth-ranked Ole Miss Rebels. A freshman out of Birmingham, Jackson Kimbrell. He's making his first start as an Ole Miss Rebel. There goes the runner, Chotnier. Goodman with no chance, and it looks like Chotnay will have no problem getting to third. All different kinds of ways to get a ribby here in the bottom of the first. And including that, infield single for Servideo, and Chotnier scores the first run of the night. That one got past Goodman. Servideo will score, it's 2-0 Ole Miss. But so far tonight, a couple bagels on the scoreboard as Kimbrell with a strikeout, his first of the night. Let's, let's put him on. Yes, give him first. There's a fly ball in a short right field. Coming on, and it's not going to be able to make the catch bench, and that will score one. Trella got a base hit his first time up, hits one right on the line, but snagging in his Leatherwood out and left. Hit well to left field. It's off the wall. Chatagne digging for two, and he'll slide in safely. Peyton Chatagne does not get cheated at the plate. He takes <laughs> six eight out of Santa Monica, California. Has a one and zero record. A terrific earn run average. She has thrown four innings. Was instrumental in that win. Swing and a miss. Nice start tonight for West Burton. Jack almost got hit. Our camera guy. And there's a base hit to left by Howell. Fly ball, right center field. Plumley cruising. And he makes the catch. This week, SEC men's basketball turning next week. And nice piece of hitting by Ben Van Cleve, the DH, going. The other way, and a leadoff single for Van Cleve. That one will allow Van Cleve to get to second. Wide in the left center field by Leatherwood. That's going to score Van Cleve. Leatherwood will have a sliding double. Swing and a miss. That one gets past Goodman. Leatherwood will score. It's 4 1 Ole Miss. Austin Miller is the new Ole Miss pitcher. The 6 7 senior from North Liberty, Iowa, replacing the 6 8 West Burton. Swing and a miss, and Miller comes in. Back to back strikeouts. Line into right field. A base hit by Bench. Ball four to Servidial, and they're loaded with nobody out. Here. And he just did it. That strikeout walk ratio is not quite as good as it was about five, six minutes ago. Memphis with some contact, but a one, two, three inning for Austin Miller. Stairs, and they're full of Rebels, the bases with two outs. For another run. That one gets past Goodman, another wild pitch. Plumley scores easily. Line, but Servideo makes the diving catch. Max Chofi, the junior from Chicago, Illinois, 6'4", 225. He is inheriting a difficult situation here in the top of the seventh. Bases loaded, only one out. Goodman, a bouncer to Keenan, steps on third. The throw over to Graham. One big pitch there by Chofi, and the Rebels get out of the mess. Plumley lifts one to left. That should score his Ole Miss football teammate Ely with ease. 
Bebe Loney makes the catch, but a sack fly by Plumley, and the Rebels add some late insurance. Wind in a right field. Howell can't make the catch. Servideo is thinking two. It'll be a stand-up double for Servideo. There's a rip to right center field by Keenan. That's off the wall. That's going to score Servideo, and Keenan's got an RBI double. We've got a new pitcher for Ole Miss. It's Cole Baker, the freshman from Hoover, Alabama. There's a line drive into right field. Oh, how about that catch? Justin Bench. Roll. And the guy to get the last three outs. That's a line drive down the left field line. It's going to be extra bases for Hildreth. And Memphis still has a heart rate. Fly ball, right center field. This should do it. Bench will make the catch, and Ole Miss has won its 11th straight game. Memphis's seven-game winning streak comes to an end. Uh, but Ole Miss, again, opportunistic offense, able to do enough. And my goodness, look up, and the Rebel team's 11-1. 11-1. and one. 11 and one. Memphis falls to 8-4. And, and with that, we'll put a wrap on our coverage tonight here at Swayze Field. So.